Hey guys, it's Mike coming back with another Johnny Bench PC update video. If y'all didn't see my mail day just now, I just got this beauty from Ryan, Dominus Infinitus. Beautiful card. Uh, Ryan, you, you're just a guy. What can I say? That's, that is just plain awesome. Number 9 of 10. I knew they had the uh, playing cards, which were promos for the show, and I've been meaning to pick one up, but I didn't know they had these autographs to 10 and this is the perfect memento from the show so to go with the bench bat all the cards that you guys you know i've met that gave me cards or just people i've met the memories this is just the perfect perfect way to cap it off and put it with all the other goodies uh, hopefully i'll do one of these every year if i get to go uh, i'll collect those too but ryan i can't thank you enough buddy I uh, haven't done a video for a while. I have got a bunch of new stuff. Work's been driving me crazy. But I'll go through these for as quick as I can. Uh, one of my least favorite, just because I'm a collector of bench, I buy a little everything of tops, but these proven metal cards, uh, they don't really do much for me. But they actually sell for a little bit of money, which kind of surprises me. This one's numbered to 50. And. Um, I mean, I guess they're okay, but uh, they don't, uh, eh, what can I say? I don't know. They come in different numbering, 99 and 50 and 10. That's a, maybe 25. I don't know if I'm going to buy all those if, until the prices go way down on those. Uh, also from Series 2, I got uh, the Elite Series run. I got the base. Uh, I've got the one to 99. This is the one to 50, the red version. Pretty cards. Uh, very nice for the for um, the base set for tops. Real thick, nice cards. This is a relic version to 25, and uh, very nice cards. I like those a lot. Moving over to Ginter. Ginter's done a lot of unusual things this year. The rip cards are hard to find and they're real pricey. Haven't got a bench one yet. Uh, I did get the silk card number to 10. A little pretty card. Like those a lot. And out of the rip cards, they had some high number series cards this year. And they're actually going for pretty good money. This is number 388. I think 300 is the base set. This comes out of a rip card. So it's a base rip card. But uh, still hard to find. And this one, I don't know if it came out of the box topper. Or if that was just a regular insert. It's the yellow printing plate for that card. Or it's number 388. So it's a printing plate for one of the short prints. It's a one of one of course. But that's kind of weird. But I'm glad to get that. And moving over to tier one. Got a lot of good stuff from that. I've been trying to knock it out. Both of his autographs are, uh, are uh, redemption. So I won't show the you know, blue cards for those. Hopefully I'll show those when they actually come in. I did do a bunch of relics. As everybody knows. This is the one to $3.99. And... Uh, the two piece is numbered to 50. And then the three piece is numbered to 25. So those are pretty hard to find. So I've got all three of those. And let's see here. I guess the other big part that is live is the book cards. And there's three of them this year with Bench. Uh, one, they're all numbered to 10. Kind of reminds me of the old Sterling days when they had all the book cards. Uh, this one is Bench and Johnny Cueto. And let's see if I can get that focused. Really nice looking book cards this year. I really like that. And then they did one with Brandon Phillips. Very nice. Number to 10 also. And then uh, 
harder one to find is this one here. Well, same number to 10, but these are a lot of competition because of who he's with. This one's with Cal Ripken Jr. So, this one I had to pay a little bit extra for just because of uh, Ripken being his on the other side. I do like when Topps does these dual autographs or multi autographs because that way I can collect autographs of other players along with buying the bench cards because I didn't have one of Cal Ripken so that's nice to put into the collection. So those are really nice. I really like those. And we're going to finish up with museum collection. Uh, I got, except for the one on ones, I got all the bat piece cards. Everything in there was bat this year. This one's number to 20. This one, I don't know. It's, to me, the guy sold it jokingly as a one of one, which it's a uh, not, but it's number to 35. But everything I've seen of his out of this product has been bat relics. And this is actually a jersey relic for a change. So, it might, to me, it is a one of one. I guess they ran out of chunks of bat for him. They probably tore up two or three of them just making all the bat cards. Um,. I did get the, Ryan was, also gave me this, this is the quad, this one is to 99 with the Phillips patch, and this is the one to 75, and this has got a nice Bruce patch on it, and the 25 I showed in the last video was from the National, Ryan gave me that one, so Ryan's been hooking me up left and right here lately, and this last card, uh, as good as the Ripken bench booklet is this is the last one of these i needed uh, last year they did a framed bench museum collection that i got and this year they did three number to 15 to 10 and to five i had the 15 and the 10 i've been looking for a decent price on the five and uh finally got one i could live with and uh that is just plain beautiful I know Tops is kind of hit and miss with their products as far as, but I tell you the, oh that's gorgeous, the, once you, when you find the real rarity ones, they're just gorgeous, that's just a beautiful car, three of five, with the silver autograph, uh, that is just plain awesome, so, as you can tell I've been busy, um, I love that car. Uh, that's about it. I got some a lot of redemptions coming in. I got like 10 right now, which is the most I've ever had with Bench. Uh, apparently, TriStar hasn't gotten him to sign. So, hopefully, those will be in soon. I want to say hello to Ryan. Thanks again, buddy, for that card. It's beautiful. Sam, make some videos. I haven't seen you in a while. Tommy, love your videos. Keep making them. And everybody else, I know I'm going to leave people out, but all the new guys I've been talking to, Michael and TC and uh, Mike Rizzo Ray fan and um, uh, Eric the Ravens fan, um, just a great bunch of guys. Everybody, if I left anybody out, I'm sorry, but uh, I, off the top of my head, you know, but uh, this Thanks for everything. Love this community. And um, what can I say? Thanks a lot. Keep in touch. I'll talk to you. Bye-bye.